Is one of your biggest stressors for this new year to be doing something on the new year? Maybe you're not from Minnesota or your friend left town or who knows what. Well, I'm Lily with Life Tools by Lily with this 11 day series, 11 days of wild and crazy. Why did I name it that? Well, if you haven't been looking for the past couple days, just know that it's that the whole environment around me seems like that right now. And that's why I decided to create this series to give some tips for easing that feeling of wild and crazy to give people some stress relief. My Life Tools by Lily YouTube channel would love a thumbs up from you and to share it. But let's continue to today's tip. All right. So some people have mentioned to me in the passing over the past few years or even this week that the whole socializing thing for New Year's is stressful. Who are they going to hang out with if they're living alone or if they're new to town? Whatever the reason, maybe they're newly single. Well, I've been in that situation before. And first of all, it's a way overrated holiday. So even if you are alone, it's not the end of the world. It's just another evening. But I get it. My solution for being alone, or not being alone actually, is to go to meetup.com. If you're not familiar with it, it's, it's not a dating site. It's a really cool internet-based way of meeting people with mutual interests. So you go to meetup.com, you type in a specific interest you have, let's say chess, and then type in your zip code and press enter. And then it'll show you gatherings in your area that deal with that special interest. I happen to have met my husband at a party through meetup.com, but once again, it's not a dating site. It's just a great way to meet people who have something in common with you. Ours was nightlife meetup group. It was people who liked to hang out in the evening and go dancing or do karaoke or whatever it was. Maybe you want to be with moviegoers, so you type in movies. And even with the whole pandemic scenario, there are people who are still meeting, or maybe it's an online meeting, but it's still human beings. It's not just names on a screen. It's human beings who want company. It could be a good way to meet, and that way you at least see what their social skills are like. That's what I liked about it. Plus, it's people who are a little adventurous. So seriously, if you're feeling like you need some other people to hang out with, and you just want to try something different, go to meetup.com. This is day number eight, so holiday tip number eight for relieving stress. 11 days of wild and crazy, okay? Give it a try and comment below. Maybe you're watching this and you know someone who could use this tip, or maybe you've got a different tip. Anyway, give me some feedback below, please, and a thumbs up. Thanks so much, and then on Friday, the last day, I'll be releasing a video with a bunch of different tips all together in like, I'm thinking about a half hour's worth of video. Tips on people, on money, on chaos reduction, you name it. I gave the talk for Power Talk seminars and people loved it. So this is my gift to you. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in. And remember, 11 days of wild and crazy, just a couple more days of 2021. Wow. Thanks.